if you've got the big brake conversion kit that came off the 90 to 95 Shadow and Sundance, uh, essentially what it is, is you get the K-frame, the lower control arms, the, knuckle, the steering knuckle, and the big brake um, bracket, mounting bracket, and the caliper. Now the mounting bracket and the caliper are also on the caravans. If you uh, look at the big, at some of the caravans, I don't remember the years, but they do use the same caliper and bracket, but not the same steering knuckle. The hubs are the same as we've been using on our cars for years from the lasers, Daytonas. So you want to retain the same hub with the four bolts and the five lugs. But the knuckles and all direct replacement and the K-frame. All it does is it moves the wheels ahead about an inch in the wheel well, but that shouldn't. That's never really been a big deal. The only time you will see instead of the wheel hitting over in here, it'll hit up in here. The tire. You might lose some of your turning radius. Back in the 80s, we didn't have these clips. They came around in the 90s. They're anti-rattle clips for the brakes. The way they go on, just loop it over one side, bring it up on the other, take your pad. Slide it in place. Hold on. That's up. Now this noise clip, this noise tab, is supposed to be on the incoming side as the wheel turns. So whenever you're looking to position that, make sure it's on the incoming side. Same goes for these vanes that are on the rotors. They're supposed to face towards the direction of, or with the direction, I should say, of rotation, so that as the wheel turns, they're biting into the air. I can't tell you how many times I've seen them the other way. For years I did them backwards, but I've done research and this is the way they say do it. Also make sure you torque your lug nuts to the correct torque. I'm not doing that right now, but don't over torque your lug. This is a new Neon 28 millimeter wide rotor off I think it's an SRT, I can't remember. It's one of the turbo cars. This is the 11 inch rotor that I got off of one of the Sundance kits, uh, 90 to 95 Sundance. And it's 24 millimeters wide, and the Neon rotor is 28 millimeters wide. I do have a brand new set of Hawk pads on here and the 15 millimeter wheel spacer. The rotor is the same diameter but being that it's a four millimeter wider rotor there are issues. When you try to put the big brake caliper on you'll see that it's just a few millimeters off of fitting. Now if the pads were worn it would probably fit but chances are you, know, you don't want to put worn pads on so it's I would say that the Neon rotor is not compatible with our brake setup. So now we're going to compare the Big Brake 11 inch rotor to the PT Cruiser's 11 inch rotor. As you can see, the diameter is the same. 
the only difference really is the big break conversion is a 24 millimeter wide PT Cruiser is a 23 millimeter. Um, looking at the hats, they look to be about the same thickness, but the one for the big break has a bigger internal section. See the inside of here is bigger. Than this one. So well it fit. Let's give it a try. Let's go over the hole, okay, the centering hole. Centers on it nicely. I don't feel any wiggling. That's a good sign. There's a little space around there, that works. it's going to fit caliper wise because it's one millimeter smaller. So I would say yes, a PT Cruiser rotor will replace the big brake rotors that we can't get anymore. So just make sure that you're getting a 23 millimeter wide rotor and not the one for the neon that's 28 millimeters. You can also get the neon rotors that are 23 I can't remember what engine size, but they come with a 23 and a 28 millimeter. These are centric spacers, and they're designed to keep the wheel spacer and the wheel itself spaced on center of the hub, rather than relying on the lug nuts to center the hub. Uh, you can buy these off eBay. They're usually made out of plastic. I had these water jetted because I have two different ones that go together price on it was around $100 for a set of four. They just make sure everything is perfectly in alignment. They're very important to have if you have parts that don't line up perfectly. You don't want to be relying on the lug nuts to do all the centering.